Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our focus or faculty onboarding and career upstart seminar. So um, I'm right now I'm showing you the uh, the flow of the five day training or seminar. So this is the first day and this is uh, in this particular day, we are going to talk about the USTP culture. So a bit uh, in a few minutes, our speaker will be um, talking about our vision, mission, core values and graduate attributes, because uh, I believe that as part of the um, organization of USTP, we need to know uh, what is the goal or the vision of the university. Okay. So you also have here day two, your professional responsibilities. So um, we will be in the in this second day, we will be talking about communication protocols and also faculty policies and some um, salient policies that are relevant for the uh, for you as faculty you know, um, in relation to the CSCP or CDBM and other policies that you may need to know. And also, how is it like to be working with students? So you will be, um, uh, or somebody from OSA or the Office of Student Affairs will be um, here you know, with us. And then on the third day, um, that will be on your career, uh, career and professional growth. So, uh, we will be talking on, or some, some speakers will be talking on um, the routes that you will have to consider when you're growing here in USTP. So is it going to be research? Is it going to be extension? No. And uh, you will also have the chance to know the scholarship grants or the faculty development program, which you can um, apply for. Okay. And also, on days four and five, that will be the transition to the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning Training, which is on our first um, on, uh, training, really, when you get in the university that is on designing assessments of learning and methods. So that would be two-day uh, training, especially for those um, who are still very new to the university. Okay. So let me just zoom that in so that you can see clearly. Okay. So I hope you could see that clearly. Okay, so while we are um, waiting for our speakers, you know, um, they will be here in a, in a few minutes. They're just actually logging in uh, to um, this webinar session. So uh, prepare yourselves. So while we are preparing, okay, let me just show you some, um, some videos.
in the class can really be applied to the new training system that they are proposing. Good morning once again. Um, may I request everybody to please kindly um, change your usernames to your real names so that we will know if you're part of the organization. You can actually rename yourselves. So kindly rename yourself so that we will know if uh, you're part of USTP. And also this is for us to have records no, of those attendees who are here on the first day. Salamat po. Thank you very much. Our staff are uh, recording those attendees that are here today. Salamat po. Okay, 
Good morning once again. We will begin with our um, session today. So welcome to the Faculty on Boarding and Career Upstart Seminar or FOCUS. I am glad that you responded affirmatively to our invitation for this essential series of sessions specially designed for the newly hired regular part-time and contract of service faculty members of the university. So to start our first day of five, let us begin with a prayer, the singing of the national anthem and the USTP hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging tewas ng sigatanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay. Upang hinirang, tuyag ka ng magiging sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa Just for God shall be our guiding 
again. Great morning to everyone who is here with us. The Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning together with the Human Resource Management of USTP welcomes you to the first day of focus or faculty onboarding and career upstart seminar. So this seminar is designed especially to our newly hired regular part-time and contract of service faculty members across the US, uh, USTP system which supposedly is given no prior the semester begins. However, because of the pandemic, we somehow detoured from our plans and changed our priorities. And uh, some of us okay, may have started rough this academic year because we had to respond immediately you know, to um, the situation. And we went to the war without even having ample tools and orientation on how to navigate through the system. Nevertheless, the goal of FOCUS is to give you the orientation you need as you go along with your growth in the university. And uh, because we are sure some of you would stay and plant your future uh, here in USTP, let, let, this be, uh, let this be a seminar no? for you to know which route you should take for your career and professional journey in the institution. And on the other hand, uh, let this be a bridge for you to get to know the services offered by the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning. Okay? And uh, our center will have your back in terms of training for pedagogical enrichment as well. So my name is Arvin Arvaza, the CITL program head for new faculty program, which FOCUS belongs to. And I will be your facilitator for the five-day session. So without further ado, let me show you briefly our flow for today's session. Okay. So this is our flow for today. So we will have the preliminaries, okay? Uh, and then after the preliminaries, supposedly we will be starting with the USDP vision, mission for values and graduate attributes. However, um, our first speaker is um, having technical difficulty in coming in. So unahon sa nato ang ano ang HR matters, which will be given to us by the director for the human resource management, uh, Dr. Tito Marikit. And then we will have the Q and A, and then the closing and virtual pictorial as well. So that will be our flow for today's session. Okay. So let me just uh, share with you important reminders before we begin. Okay, so for security purposes, please use your real name so we can verify if you're part of the organization or not. This will prevent us from letting in crashers, flashers, and potential hackers in the meeting. So for those who are still using the names of their cell phones or um, sa baka ang code ang generate sa Zoom, kindly rename yourselves. You are actually allowed to rename yourself you know, with your complete name. Uh, so that we can also record you know, your attendance for this session. Allow us also to meet you during the meeting. This is to ensure that no ambient noises will distract the speakers and you, the listeners. We also encourage that you use your earphones so you can clearly hear the speakers' discussions and that um, you can ensure focus during this session. You may also use the raise hand feature if you have points of clarification or not. If you, uh, you can also use the chat box, no? Uh, you can just type in your questions if you have clarifications or if you have a chat with another person within the meeting, you can also do that privately, okay? We encourage everyone to turn, to turn their cameras on so we could also see you and we could feel you, your presence you know, while we are conducting the webinar. However, if this will affect the, the connectivity of your internet, um, later na nang siguro ninyo turn on ang inyong cameras during the uh, virtual pictorial. Should you be cut off from the meeting due to intermittent internet connection, just log back in. No? Um, and then you may have noticed that when you log in, um, Ginapangayok pa ni Zoom ang inyong email. This is to ensure security no, sa ako ang Zoom meeting. So after the session, you may be asked to turn on your cameras for the virtual pictorial, as I mentioned. And by the way, this session is recorded. You know, so that uh, this is for documentation purposes. And later on, if you want to go back to the videos because you want to remember some important points, okay, um, this is necessary you know that we are recording this and because we will also be giving you a copy of the video later okay and then um just uh just a reminder that the certificates will not be given after every session rather it will be given after the five sessions so this will be a certificate of completion you know? so 
once you have completed the five day sessions, then that will be the time that you will be receiving also your certificate. And also once you have um, submitted your evaluation. Okay, so in every session, we will be asking you for evaluation. Okay, see So, okay. Let us um, have our first speaker for this morning. We'll just skip that first. Okay, so our first speaker is no other than the Director for Human Resource Management USTP System, who will share with us salient points regarding matters concerning human resource te technicalities. So let us greet him with our virtual applause, Dr. Tito M. Marie. Yes, hello, good morning, Sir Sir Arvin. Hello. Hello, Sir Arvin. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, can I share my slide, sir? Please allow me to share my slide. Yes, yes, sir. You can now share your slide. Po. Sir, can you help me? Do you have my slides? I have, I have problem with... Um, sir, I believe that Dr. Paolma is here. So, ah, okay, okay, um, that's good. Maybe you can send your slides. I, I have sent it to your email, sir. Hello, Sir Tito. Um, Dr. Paulma is here, by the way. So, um, we, uh, you may um, pause your screen sharing, po. Okay, po. Salamat. Before Ma'am Elena will start, uh, let me just uh, introduce uh, you to our Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will be uh, talking to us about the vision, mission, the core values, and the graduate attributes of the university. So let us welcome Dr. Helena Pauma. Yes, uh, good morning, everyone. Siguro, Doc, Sir Arvin was not able to see me. I was here like 8.30. <laughs> I tried to change my name, Sir Arvin, but... Uh, yeah, having some difficulties. But first of all, I'd like to commend uh, the CITL for this pilot program. It is actually a dream come true, at least for me. I wish I had this when I first arrived in USTP. Uh, I wanted, because we were like thrown into the water and we had to swim on our own. But because of this seminar, I hope all the newly hired are here and i would like to invite you also to please join all the programs of citl because it will be of much help to you so i hope that you will be here for for the five days and you will learn a lot 
and CITL will be here for you all throughout your career. So welcome once again to our new hirees. Thank you for choosing USTP. Um, we will always be here for you, whatever happens. And because we are right now in the midst of the pandemic, so this comes also with appreciation. I know that we are all doing our best in the face of all that is happening. So let me just share with you what USTP is about in terms of its vision and mission. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes, Actually, ma'am, we can see Paul. Yeah, okay. Actually, CITL requested me also to present the organizational chart but um, it has been newly approved. But let me just tell you that USTP consists of about five campuses. We have two major campuses in CDO and Claveria. And then we have our satellite campuses in Panaon, uh, Oroqueta, Hasaan. And then we have new ones, Balubal and Villanueva. This actually tells you that the USTP wants to reach out to as many youths as possible because we want them to avail of education no? equal equal access to education and so this is the vision of USTP so USTP University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines is a nationally recognized science and technology university providing a vital link between education and the economy. I'd like for you to focus on the terms, the link between education and the economy. I think in my experience with other universities, this is a very unique feature of USTP because it seeks to address specifically you know, the, the the needs of our community and therefore in all of our dealings in all, all of our processes and in, in all of our policies we look towards how we can go into the world and serve so and that is why we have this vital link between education and the economy the mission is a threefold mission so the first one is to bring the world of work or industry into the actual higher education and training of students. This particular mission is actually addressed by CITL also because when they give their seminars, they have uh, designs for teaching and learning that will allow the linkage between the world of work and education. So our education as faculty here in the USTP is not just done in the classroom. So we think of what is happening out in the world and we go out. Well, in this case, in the pandemic, we think of uh, teaching and learning uh, strategies that will bring us closer to what is really happening outside. The next mission is to offer entrepreneurs the opportunity to maximize their business potentials through a gamut of services from product conceptualization to commercialization. So as you can see, the reach of USTP goes beyond the four walls of the classroom, goes beyond the gates of USTP. It seeks to reach out and bring in what is outside. So there is a, a movement between what is internal and what is external. And finally, the bigger picture contributes significantly to the national development goals of food security and energy sufficiency through technology solutions. All of this under that greater vision, which seeks to link education and the economy. Now we have graduate attributes for the USTP. This is what we hope our graduates will be. So the keywords here are the USTP is an innov innovative and entrepreneurial thought leader and game changer in the academe and the industry. So these are the graduate attributes of the USTP. First is innovative thinking. A USTP graduate generates new ideas or new ways of approaching things to create possibilities and opportunities. 
As faculty, you will be taught by CITL about the higher order thinking skills. And uh, this generation of new ideas or new ways of thinking have something to do with innovative thinking, creativity. This is creating something out of what already exists, which is a higher level thinking skill. Critical thinking. The USDP graduate objectively examines a situation by gathering information from all possible sources and evaluates both the tangible and intangible aspects, as well as the implications of any course of action. I would like to emphasize here the term implications. So you gather information and then you make a judgment. This is what critical thinking about is about. It's not just about knowing what is, but knowing what should be and knowing what is around the what is. It's a contextual kind of thinking. And this is what we would like to develop in our USDP graduate. And that is why our teaching strategies should go beyond the classroom and should go beyond what we have been used to. Resilience. A USDP graduate thrives, grows, and develops competence in the face of adverse circumstances. I think this particular attribute is very much appropriate during our times at this very moment because we are undergoing a global, global crisis. So I hope certainly that uh, as faculty, we already have this, we are resilient meaning we are open to new ways of doing. So, and that is why I really, really encourage you to, to you know, uh, attend all of these uh, seminars on how we can improve, how we can grow in terms of our teaching skills and how we can adjust to any situation. And as faculty, we need to be able to adjust, especially since we are now in this, uh, pandemic. Uh, in the case of USDP, we have tried to be resilient in our uh, implementation of the flexible learning program. I know as Sir Arvin said, it has been a rough start for all of us, but sige lang, padayon gihapon. No? Okay. Empathy. I think this is a very, very important attribute because we identify and understand another situation and feelings, allowing for caring relationships, as well as understanding and connecting with those who may be different. Your life here in USTP will not be perfect because this is a community with a lot of intelligent people. <laughs> there will be a lot of different opinions, but hopefully we will empathize. No? Uh, let me just share with you very, very briefly an experience of mine when I was uh, going to our university. Uh, there was a huge stone on the path and I had to try to avoid that. But on the other side, there was a truck. So I had to move my car and try to avoid that stone. And I thought that this was a very good example of empathy. Each of us have a stone in our lives that we would like to avoid and I hope that you all will understand, especially your students, that there could be a stone in their lives that they are trying to avoid so that they may not be perfectly able to come up with your requirements. And so compassion on both sides. And we have also asked the students to empathize with the faculty because we understand that for the faculty, this is not an easy time. We are trying to teach our students in very abnormal circumstances. And so this actually also comes with a sense of appreciation to all of you for your empathy, for your understanding, and for your um, attempts or for your uh, seeking to connect with those who may be different. Teamwork and collaboration. We try to develop in our graduate uh, a USTP graduate works effectively and respectfully with diverse teams. This includes assuming shared responsibility for collaborative work and valuing the individual contributions made by each team member. So I think the key words here are diverse teams. So there will be, we will be working with various groups 
and it is hoped and it is hoped that even as you develop this in yourself you will also be able to teach this to your students through example no? respect and valuing the individual contributions made by each team member so valuing and respecting each one so if we do that among ourselves then it will be easier for us to show how to do that to our students six is communication skills a USTP graduate presents and articulates views thoughts and ideas by effectively using oral written multimedia and nonverbal communication skills in a variety of forms and contexts it is true that this involves skills that we need to train for so we need to know how to speak we need to know how to write how to use multimedia but i think this goes even more deeper this communication skills i think comes with all of the other attributes you need to be able to think critically you need to be able to empathize you need to be able to work with others in order to be able to communicate well so this is not just about skills. This particular word, communications, communication brings with it all the other attributes. And I hope that even as we try to develop this in our students, we are actually also developing this within ourselves. And so those are the six graduate attributes. And I hope that we all have those attributes and if even if we don't have them as of now we will be able to see and reflect within ourselves whether we need to grow in terms of those attributes the next is the dynamic core values so USDP wants to set the right behavior and perspectives for the fulfillment of its goals thus the university agreed upon the following core values that would guide its members, that's us, our students, our stakeholders, in all our undertakings and move us towards the right path. So the core values follow USTP. No? So letter U would stand for unselfish dedication, which is selfless commitment and complete fidelity towards a course of action or goal. This particular dedication that I'm talking about uh, comes from those attributes that I was sharing earlier. Where does selfless commitment come from? Where does fidelity come from? It comes from a sense of integrity. And here in USTP, as I have said, it will not always be sunshine and roses. Uh, there will be rough paths, but hopefully, we will be dedicated towards our mission. And what is our mission? It's, it's to serve, simply to serve, and to do our best, despite all the obstacles that may come. Next is social responsiveness. This is ethical, moral responsibility, leading to corrective action and social issues and contributions for the betterment of the environment and the community's quality of life. So as you know, USTP has been reaching out and sharing its uh, resources, sharing its uh, expertise to the other uh, institutions. Uh, one example is, I know CITL has shared its expertise to other universities. That's just one example. And our extension office is also very active in terms of going to the universities, uh, to other communities, and sharing what they can you know, in terms of expertise and resources. So this is what we mean by social responsiveness. It is an awareness of what is happening around us. It is also a feeling of empathy for those who may be suffering. And I hope that we all have this and we all will be able to self-reflect also at the same time. Transformational leadership, leading through inspiration and by example, to foster positive change with the end goal of developing followers into leaders. All of you are leaders and your students are potential leaders. So you have to be a good leader first before you can teach 
transformational leadership. What do we mean by inspiration? It's not just about results, but for me, I think it is also about compassion. So hopefully in our case as faculty, we don't just look for results, we don't just look for requirements, but we look towards where our students are and what their capabilities are in this case of the pandemic, even their capabilities towards uh, in terms of gadget and connectivity. So I hope that we will be transformational in a sense that we transform ourselves when we need to. In that way, we can become good leaders, at the same time, good followers also. Finally, prudence. Self-governance leading to circumspection and good judgment in the management of affairs and use of resources. So USTP will be helping you, will be providing for you. At the same time, we hope that uh, our use of these resources will be, will come from good judgment, will come from circumspection. What do we mean by circumspection? A very deep sense of self-reflection so that we manage our affairs and use our, our resources justly. I would also like to point that this prudence has something to do with being a part of this community. We are members of the USTP family, so I hope that we will be careful in terms of what we say about our university. What you post in social media will not just reflect, for instance, maybe you have complaints and all that. You may course this to the proper channels and the administrators will listen to you and do its best. Hopefully, we will vent to the proper authority, to the proper persons, and we will not give up until we are listened to. So when we post in social media and destroy the name of USTP, it is not just USTP that is destroyed, it is you also, because of you are a part of the USTP family. But I would like to bring this back on a positive note. I have full trust that the new faculty of USTP have this sense of prudence that all the, the blessings that we have been given, we will also give back to others as blessings. So that ends my presentation. Thank you very much and a warm, warm welcome to all of you. Thank you very much, Dr. Paulma, for that very insightful and inspiring presentation of our vision, mission, core values, and graduate attributes. It is important that we envision and share a common goal in the university. Um, we have to share with each other how we see through our lenses. And thank you, ma'am, for doing just that. Thank you, ma'am, also for reminding us to be resilient. No, we are very honored and glad that you said yes to our invitation. And for sure, um, this will ripple an influence to those who are still coming over for uh, to USDP. Salamat po, ma'am, Len. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so right now, let us proceed to our next um, presenter. Okay, so in this particular segment, no, because I'm pretty sure you are ready to hear and uh, you are ready to hear about the technicalities of working here in USDP. So our next speaker is no other than, again, the Director for Human Resource Management, USDP System, who will share with, with us salient points regarding um, matters concerning the human resource technicality. So let us begin with, with our virtual applause. Again, Dr. Tito M. Mariki. Allow me to share the screen.
Hello, sir. Good morning. A pleasant morning again. Good morning, po. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Amphi Dinanagsaw and Sir Arvin Arvasa from CITL for collaborating with us on this faculty onboarding. No? Uh, this is actually one of the programs of HR. Now, it's hard to juxtapose uh, things that we have at HR in just an hour presentation. So what we did is we picked up uh, the most frequently asked questions on the following topics. Uh, next, sir. Next uh, slide, sir, please. So the following are the topics, uh, tenure, schedules, the alternative work arrangement, overtime, overload, DTR, uh, leave, benefits, travel application, submissions of documents, clearance, and designation. Uh, but before that, before tackling all those topics, uh, we need to first uh, present our USTP quality policy. So in a nutshell, no, if you will be asked um, what is our USTP quality policy, just take note of the key uh, key words, no? the first word is committed and the second one is comply. So USTP is committed no? to provide our primary customers with excellent and continually improved quality human resources and services that comply with statutory and regulatory requirements. These are the agencies like civil service, CHED, uh, COA, DBM, etc., in seeking to attain sustainable development and inclusive economic growth as a nationally recognized University of Science and Technology. So always think of our commitment to provide quality service and our compliance with the statutory and regulatory requirements. So that's the key word for uh, our USTP quality policy. Next, sir. Uh, allow us to present also the function, the core functions of HR. We have actually four sections. No? We have the recruitment, selection, and placement, which uh, this onboarding uh, program belongs. We have learning and development. Uh, when you have questions about uh, when you request for trainings no, and development interventions, you can ask our learning and development section. We have the appointment, personal records, and performance management. If you have questions about your appointments, your personal records, then you can go to this section. And we have the compensation and personal benefits management section, which you can ask regarding your payroll, your uh, DTRs, etc. So that are the, those are the four sections of HR. Next. So let's talk about tenure. When you come into to USTP, you will be placed first under temporary status. So these are the two uh, employment status of faculty or teachers. First, you will be serving as temporary. Uh, don't worry, katubitang mga uh, qualified na, uh, you, will, you will still be on temporary uh, status, but after a year, you, be, you will be evaluated, and if you meet the requirements, you will be uh, recommended for permanent. So this is for those who do not meet the minimum educational requirements or possibly eligibility. So when you are newly hired, the nature of your appointment is actually original. So makatatak diha temporary original no and then you are subject to reappointment every year no you notice every year magsigib pangayo ang hr o pds no mga requirements kay ang civil service they always ask a new copy of this no so you will be subject to reappointment or renewal every year so ang maximum allowable period nga magstay ka as uh, temporary is maximum of 5 years that's uh, according to Ched, no? that you are also given five years to finish your master's. And then when you get at least a very satisfactory performance rating, no? then with this, no? you will be uh, recommended for permanent status. Kung, kung nakai VS ng performance rating, and then nakai qualification like master's degree and the applicable eligibility. Next. 
So let's talk about the work schedule. This is very important. No? Uh, let's take a look first with the permanent and non-teaching non or designated faculty, casual or job order. So in your work schedule, the, win the window is actually from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. What does it mean? When, when, when you are a designated faculty, permanent non-teaching or job order, uh, you will have to start from 7, then end at 4 p.m. Or you may start at 8, 8 a.m. and then end at 5 p.m., 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's The window is actually from 7 to 9. Ang starting ni mo ba? So, but meantime, because of COVID, our schedules will be based on the list provided by the motor pool unit for those who avail of the free transportation, those who work on in campus. No? Uh, this is for designated faculty. So kung nang avail ka ng free transportation, you have a different schedule depending on the arrival of the uh, the free trans uh, the transportation of the van. Uh, usually na 7.30, na 8.30, depende. No? So that will be taken into consideration and that will be inputted to the HRIS. Next, sir. So for full-time faculty members, for, for permanent or temporary, your schedule will be based, of course, on the approved schedules by colleges. This is from Monday to Friday or Saturday, kung nakai overload. No? And you'll be checking on the work span. That means you'll be serving at least 40 hours per week. Naka HRIS na na siya, naka input na na dito nga, 40 hours per week yud ang imong iserve. No? That's the work span. For a minimum of 18 units because you are a full time faculty member, uh, you will have to serve eight hours maximum a day to get 40 hours per week. But take note, ha, kanang. This is based on the civil service in section 30 of the omnibus rules on leaves. No? You have to serve at least no, five hours minimum per day if with Saturday classes. No? Ayagid pag ubus og five hours. Okay? okay? That will be deducted to your, if you have uh, vacation leave or sick leave, that, that, vacation leave, no? that will be deducted to uh, your credits. So please take note on the five hours minimum per day. We have COS here, no? So based on the approved schedules by colleges, ang imuhang work schedules, that will be from Monday to Friday or with Saturday because you have administrative uh, work also, no? based on your contract. The same as the regular uh, temporary and permanent faculty, uh, you have to work 40 hours per week, but your minimum number of units is 21. That with multiple preparations. Sometimes there are 24 units, na 29, pero dili na na siya karga as overload. So minimum ni mo siya og 21 units. Na. So package na mga ang contract of service. Na. Uh, ma 21 man siya or more, you will be paid the same. For part time, of course, this will be based on approved schedules by colleges. No? Akong gipula dari ang flexible because it really depends on the, the schedules. No? Per hour, manggid mo. So that will be the work schedule of faculty members. Now for, because of COVID, we have this alternative work arrangement. The first work arrangement is work from home. All faculty members, no, non-designated, are actually work from home. Of course, ang mga part-time po. No? And uh, if you are a designated or a non-teaching faculty, uh, kung naka-work from home ka, there's no time limit actually. You can work any time of the day, but you must be available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. if you would be called by your uh, immediate head. No? Then, uh, your DTR, when you submit the hard copy of DTR, you should put the remarks, work from home or WFH. Uh, needed pagyapon ang hard copy sa DTR, it's because of COA, no? requirement maguni siya sa COA. And then you need to attach your accomplishment report for all work from home uh, arrangement. So, kanang accomplishment report, dili pa sabot nga mag-submit mo o kanang syllabus or kanang atong inyohang module, no? 
this is a one page uh, form no nga butangan lang tug task then unsa nga topics imong na 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 discuss na no so there is a form on that uh, gihatag ni Dr. Paul Mato sa inyo ha so remember of the DTR and the accomplishment report if you are on a work from home basis next uh, we have another arrangement compressed work no uh, you can choose four days in a week no depende sa imo unsa imong gusto nga days but you have to serve 10 hours a day this is for non teaching and designated no so grabe no 10 hours a day medyo kapoy siya but then free kag isa ka adlaw in a week the skeleton workforce is the regular working hours uh if you have 7 to 4, 8 to 5, or 9 to 6, no? depende sa, imo, sa imong arrangement. Then we have staggered working hours. This is for those people or for employees working or living far from the campus. No? Uh, this is to give them time nga makauli sila, nga kanang dili makorprihan ma or dili subject to kuan, kanang check up, no? With the uh, sa checkpoints, so 8 to 2 p.m. Uh, pwede na kamo 2 p.m. That's considered eight hours gap on sa HRIS, and 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is staggered working hours. Kung layo ay mo hang balay dere sa USTP, you're living in another province. And the next is mix. You can have a combination of work from home or skeleton workforce or compressed work. No. So if take note of this, if you are on home quarantine, this should be endorsed by the head no? and then certified by the physician, si Dr. Galinsoga, and you will be at the work from home basis. confirmed ane, no? So you can still work at home. Next. Now Overtime. Overtime is only for non-teaching and designated faculty. So this is for permanent and casual. No? Uh, you are required to have approved request for overtime. First, gina nga imong submit na. No? Na I approve request for overtime. And for your accomplishment report, na agit dito ng kabutang ang tasks. And what, based on the tasks, are those accomplished? No? So naka nakabutang na sa one page uh, sheet no or report. And then you have to submit your DTR. Now for overtime for non-teaching or designated, this time this will be credited as compensatory time off. Unsa man na siya? Lahi na siya sa leave credits nga uh, vacation leave no ka accumulate man tong vacation leave. Kani siya you can take this within a year, makapundo ka ani within the year. You can use it murag mag vacation ka pero uh, kanang paid ka, no? Kung nakay compensatory time off. Kung daghan ka days, uh, mas maayo, no? So kung daghan ka overtime, that will be under compensatory time of credit. So, and, uh, but the President and Chancellor's Office monetary ila, no? Bayran sila. But for overtime for designated, take note, uh, compensatory time of ang credit anang imuhang overtime. Not, no longer monetary. Next, for job order, we call it extension. No? So job orders, you are required to have approved request first because, before you serve no? the, the overtime. So of course, napagihapon dito sa accomplishment, ang accomplishment report, ang task, then you need to submit your DTR for COA uh, submission. Next. Now, this is for faculty no overload ma designated man or uh, full time faculty without designated so for permanent and temporary uh, the overload must be after office hours no kung designated ka uh, make sure nga kung gusto ka nga overload na uh, make sure nimo nga ang schedule niya is after office hours if it's within office hours then ty na siya no part na na sa imuhang 8 hours na job. So, we need above 40 hours for non-designated before we can credit the overload. No? 
So that should be above 40 hours. That's why after office hours ang iyang schedule. Pwede sabado, pwede sa gabi. And then these are the requirements para di bitaw ta na magbalik-balik, madugay gyud ang processing sa overload if your submissions are not complete, no? These are the checklist of COA, no? We cannot forward this to accounting office unless these are complete. First one is the individual teacher's load. Katong teacher's load na gihatag sa imo Then you have to submit your DTR. You have to submit your certification from the dean that the subjects are beyond regular or after office. So there are actually two certifications. The other one is the certificate of actual conduct of classes. And then you need to submit your accomplishment report for the overload to be credited. So again, kaning lima, importante kaayo. Nga nung kinahalan ang ITL because i-check na sa COA against your uh, uh, kung beyond regular office hours bagid ang imuhang overload. And then, kinalan ang DTR para ma-check po niya nga actual render of service bagid ang imong nabuhat. No? So, kana niya, importante ng lima nga mga requirements. Take note on that. Next. What's the allowable workload or overload per week? Actually, sa manual, sa faculty manual, it's six units or we consider it hours no? based on the faculty manual. But there are some, because of the pronouncement before with the academic council or sa dean's office, the chancellor, nga nine units is okay. Lagay uban mag-12. No? Depende gina siya sa dean kung al allowable sa iyaha nga mahatagan ana nga number of units so the minimum is actually 6 units per uh, faculty manual next now for DTR submission again na naman tay HRAS uh, we are still negotiating with COA nga paperless na unta but then wala pa tay agreement yet no so that we will, we will no longer be submitting uh, hard copies of DTR. HRIS. We will just give access to COA on our DTRs. However, as of now, wala pa na siyang agreement, we will follow the usual no? uh, submission of DTR for COA, no? compliance of COA requirement. For regu regular teaching and non-teaching personnel, ma permanent, casual, or temporary, you should submit it on the fifth day, kagahapon eh, no? For the regular of the following month. Then, uh, your payday will be on the 12th and the 27th. Usahay, na magbagdown bitaw ang internet, then dili ka-download sa DTR, dili ma-check sa kanang secretary ang inputs ni mo dito. Don't worry, kay di man na problema, no? Kanang, pwede na na dili on the fifth day, makasweldo lang yapon ka kay payroll summary man ang amuang gibasihan. Uh, that will take time. Pwede kung wala ni mo na print gahapon, pwede karon or pwede on Monday. No? So, for job order personnel, ang cutoff is the first day of the month and the 16th day of the month. Take note, your, that will be processed within the day. And on the second day, you, you will get your salary. Kung sakto ang inyong mga attachments. And the 17th day, kung 16th ka nag-submit, that will be processed on the day. Paspas kaya atong HR personnel to process that. Mag-delay lang yun na siya kung dugay po ang mga submissions. For part-time faculty and CUS, the payday is actually on the 15th and the 30th. But sometimes, dili siya ma-follow because on the cut off dili puno serious on submitting your requirement no on the 13th day and the 27th day so two days ang allowable niya no to process if you submit on the 13th you'll get your salary on the 15th no on the 27th you'll get your salary on the 30th so that's DTR submission now let's go to your leaves and benefits there are a lot of types of leaves. One is sick leave. By the way, for faculty, full-time teaching, no, uh, you're not entitled to, to this grant no, uh, of sick leave. So this is only granted on account of sickness to non-teaching and designated faculty. So once you avail this, um, less than five days or more than five days, uh, if it's less than five days, it's actually mandatory no, nga, nga ma-approve siya. And you have to apply this right after the sickness. No? 
But if your sick leave is five days or more, you need to attach a medical certificate. No? Atong medical certificate nga kuan kanang from the physician. No? And then you have to download it online. No? You use the form six. Kanang dili the waton there is a CDO kung dili computerized ang entries. No? Meaning kung manual siya, you are not using the HRIS. So please download it online. Uh, you in you put your entries no kanang computerized gid entries didto gikan na sa HRIS you will be getting 15 days per year of sick leave for non uh, designated no granted ka og 15 days per year next yes sir i diretso na lang daw sir yes thank you for vacation leave no for Non teaching pa rin ito, no? You are granted for personal reasons. Katong sick leave, sick leave, sick, sick man to, no? Sick, uh, ang reason, sickness. So, this one, this is granted for personal reasons to non teaching and designated faculty. So, but the approval of this is discretionary from the agency head. And you need to apply before uh, the, the, the day of leave, no? But for if if you have you take a leave for more than 30 or more than no more than 30 days then you need a clearance no dapat na kay clearance and approved letter so again your benefit is actually 15 days per year so for non teaching and designated faculty you have a total of 50, 30 days no per year and that will accumulate for the next year kung di mo gamiton next by the way, uh, sick leave or SL and vacation leave VL is actually cumulative, meaning you can you can earn it as you, no, as you go further sa so imong stay sa USTP. So this is also cumulative for monetization or for service credit. You can convert this to cash, no, kana uh, leave credits. Uh, we have the formula for service credit, uh, that's VL plus SL divided by 30 times 69. 69 is taken from the 84 summer, that's uh, 70 summer leave, and Christmas is 14. Minus 15, no? the Saturday, Sundays, and holidays. So that's the formula. So, kung siya, kanang, uh, pwede convert no? from sick leave to service credit or service credit to uh, vacation and sick leave. So it's kani no ang forced leave no. This is mandatory annual five day vacation leave. Kung naakay kung designated ka no naakay uh, ten days or more vacation leave credits. Kanang five ana uh, mandatory within the year. Imagine siya ang i avail no. But because that will be forfeited if not taking during the year. Okay. Ang style sa uban para dili siya ma minus kay dili kaganahan mag leave uh, usually pag december ila nang i-apply kanang 5 days but ipa disapprove no due to exigency of the service so kung disapprove na siya that will be taken again no ma-add ma pag na pagyapon imo ang 10 days uh, for the next year okay so mura ra gyapon na siya no kanang forced leave kanang vacation leave na siya so intermittent pwede na naman siya gamiton but if you wish not to use it then ipa disapprove ang imuhang leave application next next sir i i dito na lang sir okay for maternity leave no of course this will be for pregnant women you need to apply before leave Pero kung magka-problema, ama magya po na asikasuhon no, para ma-enjoy gin ninyo ang maternity leave. It's now 105 days. No? But you need clearance uh, for more than 30 days no, with approved letter and a medical certificate. No? Then, even if it falls on Christmas, no, mga anak ka Christmas, mga anak ka og summer vacation because you are a faculty, uh, full labi na kong full-time faculty ka, na kay summer vacation leave, di ba? Na kay 70-day summer vacation leave. Nakay 14 days Christmas leave. With pay na siya ha. So, kung mga anak ka within this long vacation, kanang bayran ka, no? Sa imuang Christmas and summer vacation and your maternity leave. 
no? So, uh, an act increasing maternity period, 105 days with an option to extend. You can extend for 30 days, but that will be without pay. No? And then, uh, for solo mothers, uh, you, have, uh, you will have an additional of 15 days no? that's provided under the Solo Parent Act. Next. So this is for any pregnant women. No? By the way, kung bago ka, na pregnant ka, mga anak ka, take note, ang bago nga maternity leave ka ron, no? expanded is regardless of employment status and length of service. Maski one week pala niyo pagsulod o mag-apply ka, ni, you can avail. And then regardless of employment status, ma-permanent ka o ma-temporary. Okay? By the way, kanang 60 days, no? Kana balik sa ta, 60 days, no? Uh, this is for miscarriage or emergency termination of pregnancy. That is still considered under maternity leave and miscarriage. And, and you can avail this anytime uh, within the year, maski kaduha, no? Makuaan kag kaduha, pwede na ni mo ma-avail. Of course, the maternity, di man, impossibly man yung manak kag kaduha, no? So for miscarriage, possibly nga kaduha kasi isa katuig, you can still avail of the uh, 60 days uh, maternity leave. Next. So maternity leave cannot be deferred and it should be enjoyed before or after the actual period of delivery in a continuous and uninterrupted manner. No? So we approve it. Siya, no? This cannot be deferred. Pwede nga next year na, no? I avail. Uh, that is to help you, no? In your times of suffering. Now, for paternity, wala kayo ga-apply ani, no? But uh, this is very important. Uh, to help your kuan, your wife, no? During that risky period, you can avail of the paternity leave. Actually, allowable is seven days intermittent. You can enjoy it before, during, or after childbirth or miscarriage of your spouse. No? But you have to present your medical certificate or do gayman ma process ang child's birth certificate? That, that's optional. Medical certificate and marriage certificate is okay. With the expanded maternity leave, pwede day is share sa, sa mama, sa wife, ang uh, part of his kanang one kanang grant no na ay nag-apply nga idungagan og 5 days 12 days ang ihang paternity leave so it's okay no as long as na kay mga evidences next dito na lang sir this is specially for non teaching and designated no dili ni siya sa mga full time teachers ha? for designated lang ni siya kung na birthday ni mo you can avail of the special leave uh, birthday leave no this is 3 days allowable in a year. This is for personal milestone, parental obligations, filial obligations, domestic emergency, personal, no need of proof. No? You can avail this three days in a year. But this is non-cumulative, non-convertible to cash. You should enjoy this one. No? So avail this three days in a year. Apply it anymore online sa, sa HRIS. Na to. So this is only for designated. Next. See, sir. If you are a full-time faculty, no, you have this privilege of enjoying the summer or Christmas teacher's leave. But of course, you need a teacher's clearance before the, the summer or Christmas, uh, the summer leave starts. No? And designated faculty cannot avail of this because naman siya SLVL. So, ang full-time teacher, uh, wala magina siya leave no, within the year. So, that's actually 70 days. Kung full-time teacher ka, during summer, naakay one, 70 days nga vacation leave, no? plus 14 days of Christmas vacation. So, kung teacher ka, dayon, within a year, no? close to the end of the year, say for example, 10 days before the end of the second semester, mo balhin ka o I mean you accept the designation so dili naka full time teacher can you still avail the teacher's leave the answer is yes no you can still avail the teacher's leave kay na, na within the year imo na man na na gamit no I mean imong na render imong service as a full time teacher so you can avail of the christmas vacation even if you accept the designation close to a year 
But it's not the other way around. Kung non-designated ka, mubalik, mubalik ka, no? di na ka magpa-designate on March, end of a year, then you want to get the Christmas vacation? No, you cannot because the entire year you are enjoying the SLVL. So civil services, you cannot avail once you uh, accept the designation close to the year. Okay, next. Sige, sir. Now, all regular employees have this uh, privilege. No? Kung labi na kung nag two years na ka, nag one year, two years, no? uh, uh, this is according to the Faculty Development Manual. No? At least two years or na may uban na grant, ani, even one year lang siya no? as, as temporary. But it really depends. No? When you want to uh, be a scholar, you need to have letter request with endorsement from your chair no? or and for from your dean and then you have to apply this no ayo i hostage ang inyong dean ug ang fdc no nga dapat at least 6 months prior to the start of scholarship no imo na na siya i apply asi kadagan magong papers no so dili kay next week mag klase na aya pa ka mo apply no nya importante ka ayo so medyo ma hostage na the task bang process because it has to go through the faculty development committee no they need to have a resolution but uh, before that will be deliberated by the Faculty Development Committee, you have to submit your certificate of acceptance, your program of study, timetables, and para mahatag ang resolution, dapat na ay funds available. Make sure nga part ka sa Faculty Development Program sa Imuang College. Make sure, make sure yun nga, naakadya. Kana nga year, uh, pwede na ka mag... Uh, Skwela kung nakabutang ka dito no, sa faculty development program sa imong college. And then, to finally onboard you on the scholarship, kinahalang yun ang BOR resolution because we need the, uh, that for the MOA, no, for the memorandum, memorandum of Agreement. Next. Again, nebalik ta sa compensatory time of, no, because uh, this is for overtime, for permanent or casual. And this is for designated only. And as I have said, this is for offices uh, other than the president or chancellor's office. Next. Service credit. No? Uh, can you service credit? This is only for full-time teachers. No? For non-designated teachers, full-time teachers. Before you can avail this service credit, you need to have approved request before the service of actual service uh, with actual dates no, or days and hours, inangla na ay approved letter request. Of course, this letter comes from the supervisor, not from you. No? You'll be requested to work no, uh, for service credit. Of course, ang dean or ang, ang, kuan, ang chancellor mag-approve. And then make sure, because usually this is done during vacation. No? Uh, when it's done within the kuan, dili siya Christmas vacation or summer, uh, make sure na dili in conflict with the regular class schedule, no? Kay ang uban mag extension biyaan na lang ang klase. No, ang instruction gid ang pinaka importante, no? So next to next to that is the extension. So ayo biyae ang imuhang class schedule for that uh, service credit. Na importante ang klase. So usually uh, vacation magid ni siya gid kuan. So this will be accumulated as I have said a while ago nga this Kung nakai service credit, uh, makonvert ni nimo into vacation leave para maka-avail ka og leave, na no? convertible ni siya to vacation and sick leave. And trans, com, uh, commu, uh, you can commute it to cash, na no? and service credit. Next, the Magna Carta for women. This is uh, different from the maternity leave. This is for gynecological disorder. So na list of disorders ang civil service. Uh, depende kung pila ka days ang ma-avail ni mo. This has to have a medical certificate, no? approved letter, and you have to use the downloadable uh, form 6 from our HRIS, then you need to have a clearance, na katong CSC form. You can ask uh, sa HR aning clearance form. So katong na mga gynecological disorder, as long as you have the complete documents, you can avail of this. Now, this is one of your benefits. Next. Terminal leave. No, uh, ayaw pag-apply yung terminal leave kung di pa ka mag-resign or di pa ka mag-retire. No? This is for them. No? You can commute 
uh, this is a commutation of SLBL upon separation. So there is no limitation of days. You can claim this within 10 years. So kung pila tayo nabilihan sa imong SLBL, you can uh, claim that no? uh, converted to cash. And there is a formula in arriving at that uh, terminal leave benefits. Next. Yes, kani monetization of leave credit. So na akay service credit, convert ni mo siya og SLVL. So na nakay pundo nga SLVL, no. You can convert it to cash, no. This is allowed for permanent, casual and temporary. Of course, ang part-time wala ani, no. So this is with 15 vacation leave balance. So kung nakay 15 at least, no, 15 vacation leave balance, you can monetize the 10 you have to retain the 5 days no after monetization uh, meaning 50% or more no as uh, SLVL na pwede nimo monetize ang reasons ani is for health or financial reasons but as of now ang DBM ipang uli niya katong dili bitaw mga health reasons no so ang gipang approve lang is uh, covid no related uh, reasons no for the monetization and when you apply this, uh, you must see to it that na exhaust ni mo tanan imong vacation leave before ni mo gamito ng imuhang sick leave, no? So i-check man na mo, no? Kung kanang na exhaust na ni mo imong vacation leave, kaya importante mo ngro ng sick leave, no? Nga ma ma ma, ma save po na ni mo siya. And this is tax exempt, okay? Next, absence. There are times nga mag-suspend o classes, no? especially nga kanabit ang baha. No? Importante nga mabalaan ni mo kanus sa siya ga-suspend. Like for example, kanang nagbaha, then ang suspension is 12 o'clock na. Then, kanang wala na lang kanis sulod, 8 o'clock yung tayo mong start. No? Be careful of that. Kay kanang ma-minus man na sa imuang leave credits kung wala ka ni sulod anang 8 a.m. na normal work, uh, work ni mo. Ang suspension is 12 o'clock pa man, no? So, uh, pagbantay, no? Kung unsa nga oras, unsa nga day, di suspend. Para dili madidak sa imong leave credits, no? Kanang leave of absence without pay, this is not allowed if you have still uh, available leave credits. No? You can, you can have, you can avail this for one year maximum, no? Uh, absence without pay siya. But uh, careful ka ano, you know, because if you fail to report after one year, you'll be automatically separated you know, without notice man siguro ni siya. But in excess of one month na i-avail ni mo ng absence without leave, you need to have clearance. No? You have to avoid this no? uh, absence without pay or leave of absence without pay because this has an impact to your step increment. No? Uh, i-discuss na to a little later ang, ang step increment. Next. Absence without leave. no? Absence without leave or AWOL. Now, kung maka-absent ka o 30 days without notice, automatically drop from the roll ka without prior notice. But kung less than 30 days, of course, na na siya mga work order. Uh, otherwise, you will be dropped from the roll. So, Pero kung more than 30 days or more, you can be dropped from the role. So, a will na siya. Careful of that. Next. Travels and applications. Now, kung naka travel, please can um, submit your approved travel order. No, You, you, you forward it to HRIS. Na, na template. Na ikuan dito. Na menu dito na for travel order. To, for travels and uh, so you have to attach your travel order that once you once you come back you need a certificate of appearance para di ka maabsinan atong uh, mga periods nga nag travel ka na so you can do it online sa HRIS next kani gibutan na kog heart kay kanang you need to be reminded no of our submissions importante kay ang salen Basin nagtuo mo nga dili ka kain siya. Kung importante ni siya, you have to submit this. Depende, no? usually March 15 of the year na itong deadline. Ani. So, kanang PDS, say, dagang magyawyo ani nga faculty. Kaya nga, nung every year magsigitag pangayo ang HR aning PDS. For newly hard, don't worry because during your pre-employment, uh, it is a requirement no? mag-submit yung ka. But once you are already, no, kanang, nag-one year na ka, you'll be uh, submitting it I mean, updating in it our 
in our HRIS no? every year, no? every time for part-time and COS. So, naka-online naman niya. Please, kanang, later na ako ipakita ninyo nga kung ano, kanang, kanang slide on our HRIS menus. No? So, kanang IPCR, this is needed every December for your planned IPCR. Ano, katong mga targets ni mo. No? And then on February, katong actual na yun nga kanang na-serve ni mo, no? at sa mga commitment, sa mga accomplishment, you write it in your IPCR. Then, you need to renew your license every, every, kung kanus anak siya, no, mag, one, take a look at the expiration, no, para di ka matangal. Labi na kung mga temporary pa, no, kay, dili ma-release imong appointment, kung wala kay PRC license, then mag, mag, kung apunga na dahil ka, okay, well, uh, dugay kay ma-process, no, so importante, you take a look at your uh, license, kung kana need na naba na siya i-renew or dili. Okay? Clearance uh, for faculty, uh, non-designated, this is required at the end of the sem second semester or before the mid-year starts. So you'll be required to have that kay kanang mag-serve man ka, I mean, mag-enjoy mag man ka sa imuhang summer leave. No? For non-teaching, needed only when uh, on 30 days leave, resignation, retirement, or maternity. For contract of service, you are required every semester. For job order, usually required ni siya, pero usay magod kay i-renew na kagbalik. So no need for uh, the, the clearance. No? For part-time, this actually required every end of semester. No? Kay submission of grades, importante na siya. And then for contract-based, usually six months ang ilahan. No? So importante ang clearance. No? Next, employment. Employee benefits, kani, no? Uh, these are positive, kanang kuan sa ato ang tagan kayo og mga bonuses uh, for regular. One is mid-year bonus. Uh, kung gusto ka mo avail ani, dapat sa July pa lang, nakaserve na ka July, August, September, October, at least four, four months, no? Nakaserve ka four months, at least four months, para mahatagan ka sa May 15 o mid-year bonus. Now, katong mga scholars nga kana bitang, wala bitaw sila sa July or August, nag-eskwela nag, nag, nag na sila, wala sila kamit sa so at least four months, diligid sila maka-avail. No? So kung gusto ka mag-scholar, after July, August, September, October, no? so pwede na September, no? September or November no, or January para maka-avail pa ka sa mid-year bonus. Next, year-end bonus and cash gift. Kulag T ang akong cash gift. No? So, this is equivalent to one month basic salary. As of October 31, no, from January to October 31. No? So, this will be given karong November, not earlier than November 15. So November 16 basin mahatag na na siya no hopefully. So there's also a cash gift of 5000. So personal has rendered at least a total of an aggregate of 4 months no from January to October 31. At least 4 months gyapon siya from January. Okay? So year end bonus. Next. Next. So katong kuan Makadawat magyapon four months but less than five months na siya ka ng prorated no nga percentage of bonus and cash gift so that will be computed next so those who rendered a total or an aggregate of less than four months na gyapon siya percentage of the five thousand cash gift no then kung naay ko an ani naay guidelines ani napagitay five thousand no and this will be given not earlier than December 15 of the current year. Okay, four months gapon ang uh, requirement. Next, so katong less than four months, no, uh, nagyapon siya ay prorated no percentage for your PEI productivity enhancement incentive. Next, loyalty award. Kung nakaserve ka ten years. You'll be given ten thousand. Then the succeeding one thousand na siya additional, but that will be given after five years. So interval of five years after ten years, no, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and so on and so forth. Next, 
clothing allowance, uh, this will be given uh, usually March, April, no? To prepare for the uh, first semester. Now, katong mga faculty nga uh, wala pa ka serve no kay nagserve sila June June or July syempre wala pa siya ka wala pa siya kakuha tong clothing allowance but from June to July makakuha magyapon ka og 6 months June July August September October November December na no, napakay 7 months so you can claim that uh, just ask HR later no sa imong uniform or clothing allowance this is 6000 no 6000 pesos Next, step increment. So, every three years ni siya, no, hinatag na uh, increment sa imuang salary. And this comes with the notice of step increment. Tatagan ka ni every three years. Na ni siya schedule, no? Schedule of kanabang uh, kanang salary, no? Salary adjustments. Next, designated. Designation. If you are given a designation kung deans or directors ang time release ana meaning wala kay no if free ka from your teaching load 15 unit no or there are times na 12 unit siya kung below murag dili kayo dagan ang trabaho on, no as as director or as dean four heads maximum of 12 units sometimes 9 9 units depende sa ka ka kusgon no sa imong trabaho then if you have multiple de designations it should not exceed 15 or uh, 18 units no antayan nimo nga dili kay dapat na agi kay at least 3 units kay teacher man ka no sa so, pag evaluate sa imo uh, when it comes to NBC 461 dapat na kay evaluation ana no and then uh, you will be given SLVL uh, I mean sick leave and vacation leave credits for that Next. Now, Kani, this is very technical, but I'll just run through this because uh, the HRIS people will be discussing this. You will notice among eh, HRIS na kay nani username, password, login. No? You just contact Jackie or Rowena for this. How to log in if you still don't know. If you, but you can also contact your secretary of the college. So, na yung mga informatics diri. Sige, sir. How to print your DTR so na yung mga guidelines or na yung mga steps no i think this is already sent to the colleges next how to print uh, how to create an overtime application how to create leave application uh, ask your secretary for a copy or you can you can send this sir arvin to them then how to download and print personal data sheet. Now, of course, maka-update ka sa imong personal data sheet, PDS, online sa HRIS. But you need a printout kay syempre kung i-require na na maging na ni notaryo, no? Kay signature. So how to print that? There is an informatic or an infographic for that. How to create travel application in HRIS? There is also a step, an infor informatic, infographic, informatic, okay. So I think that will be sent. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you sa inyong pagkatulog. <laughs> so I think we are ready for questions, Sir Arvin. It's already 10 o'clock. Thank you, Sir Tito, for that, for the technically enriching discussion sa, para sa ato ang mga newly hired faculty. Uh, particularly those technicalities that concerns their DTR, their leaves, you know, mga um, kailangan nila i-comply, you know, especially documents. So, and uh, you have mentioned that some of them may be um, and, uh, wondering why HR keeps on asking these documents because we have to update them from time to time. So, muna nga, kailangan yun nga, um, kung kailangan yun nga na ay permit update ang atong mga documents po. Okay, you, so... Sir Arvin, thank you so much kay yes. itabangan yun mo ang HR bitaw na mas spread pag yun kay actually we have an orientation pero dili kayo paano, widespread ang pag-disseminate. So thank you so much si ITL. Happy kayo may sa HR ng yatagan ni Mimog Time. Salamat po Sir Tito for, kadag, po, ano, for collaborating with us and saying, saying yes to this invitation. Okay, so karon uh, magkuanta no, mag uh, question and answer. So kung naamoy mga pangutana, okay, pwede na to i-chat sa ato ang chat box.
Okay, and uh, you can also raise your, um, now I'm allowing ano, people to unmute themselves if ever they need to ask question. Sir Tito, I have here a question that is actually kanang texted lang sa ako. Ano. Sige, sir. Um, kay Poan, kanang By the way, we also have here mm -hmm. Ma'am Cecil Pangan, the HR yes. Director mm -hmm. for CDO. She can also answer. Yes, uh, thank you also, Ma'am Cecil, for being here with us. No? Uh, she is our director, by the way, for Human Resource Management in CDO. So she will also be um, providing us answers to whatever questions uh, that you will be uh, ano, giving to us. So, Monisha Sertito, ang kaning na ay pangutana. Um, here's a, uh, one faculty, nagbalhin na siya, no, uh, to another state university. So, kibali, na-hire siya sa itong university, regular siya dayon. Um, nibalhin siya sa, kuan, sa other state university because of the medyo ang kalayuon manggod sa iyang pag-travel. So, yung ano, ano, no. Karon, um, ang iyang concern is pagbalhin niya, nasuelduan, first ninyo nga concern, sir, nasuelduan niya po siya sa time nga wala na siya dito sa, dili na siya regular dito sa, sa USDP. So, dili baka ni daw mo kuhan, basin mag-refund daw kung sa ano sa magkara? Yes, uh, actually sir, posible na siya kay wala naman siya oh. dirin, no? Uh, posible nga mag-refund siya sir kung mabantayan na. So, uh, mas oh. maayo siguro nga iya na lang iuli. Mm -hmm. uh, para di na siya makuhan sa COA kay mabantayan oh, na siya okay. dito sa other state yung nga iyang gabalihinan. Oh, okay. And then another concern po, sir. Thank you for that, sir. No? Ang other concern po din niya is um, iahang po ang government naman niya daw siya na work. No? So naka-work niya siya for 14 years sa service niya. So karoon, um, na, naputol daw ko no iahang service na back to zero ang iyang 14 years. Kaya wala daw na-renew ang iyang temporary appointment. Mm -hmm. So gipangitaan daw siya atong bag-o niya nga state university o renewal pero wala daw nakahatag si USTP pa so mutong naputol daw yung land of service unsa daw kun ni pwede niya buhat to na ala uh, dako gyud siya nga problema sir no that supposedly she should be recommended for a renewal kay kami sa HR we are waiting for the recommendation so we have to uh, have it approved no, by the president and then I have a mag appointment. Uh, we submit it to civil service prior to kanang ma approve siya sa board. No? So, mm -hmm. dapat i fast track kung, kung na board na na siya, no, na, na advance niya ang pa board na na kanang renewal, uh, possibly ato pa na siyang matagag paagi. No? Mm -hmm. Possibly pa. Uh, just visit us at HR office. Kami gapaabot lang yun ni sa recommendation okay. from the director, from the head, from the dean. Mm, okay po. Sige po. So, um, ako way, na lang sir, sigo. Yes po. Pwede na ako i-answer, i-kana bitang emphasize nga. Yes po. Usahay mangod sa kadagahan sa tao, sa, sa employee, although nag-tracking yun ni sa mga appointments, it's the responsibility po sa dean, no? Yes. Kung mismo employee nga to check kung Narinyo na ba siya, no? Pamanwala, mm -hmm. the basis of the salary is our appointment. So, di, no, di li, may gusto nga, ang naitabo sa una nga, 190 kapin, no? Wala na renew. And that, mm -hmm. if that will be noticed by COA, problema, good kayo na siyang madako. So, please help us. Kung June ka na hire, take note nga, next year, dapat marinyo ka, no? Mm -hmm. Or, ma-recommend ka kung, kung, if it warrants your renewal, no? Please, in, ayaw ka ulaw sa din no? Or ang din dapat po doon ta magkuan, mag, mag hinumdom ani na po siya checklist. Kaya kami nag-tracking yun po sa HR. Tinabangay mm -hmm. ta. Okay po. Thank you. Thank you for that, sir. Um, here are some comments from the chat box, no? Um, can we ask a copy of your presentation, sir? So, um, I believe mag-provide ng new uh, copy, ani, no? Para sa ato ang mga faculty members na nag-join. Uh, din sa ato ang session today. And also, na yung mga pangutan na po din ni Sir Tito. And also, uh, Ma'am Cecil may also answer this if, uh, if um, Juan siya no, available siya. Um, can a J.O. avail okay, na yung pangutan na Can a J.O. avail Christmas bonus considering he is employed more than 10 years already? 
this is from uh, Yes, sir. Unfortunately, <laughs> not, no? Okay. Kato naman yun na ay employee employee-employee relationship, no? So, unfortunately, uh, trabaho yun sila kung gusto sila makasweldo pa for Christmas vacation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, here's another question po. For COS, kung say counting sa among working days during Christmas breaks, uh, ang COS Mangod is still considered uh, no employee employer relationship. Mm -hmm. So so most likely sir ang ang kuha nila no ang similar sila sa part-time of kanang kuan technicalities no in terms of yes. this. Yes. Okay. Um naay namutan na uh, regarding sa deload nga unit sa mga head same ra ba Japan siya for satellite campus? Kay like sa ako ang a case sir o sa head ko at the same time gayro. Pero three units di load na sir, kung siya ang ay buhaton ani. Actually, system-wide na siya sir nga memorandum of the president. So it should, it should be applied. I think the SO should be revised if it does not fit with the memorandum of the president. Kato akong gipost ganiha, akong gishow ganiha. Mm -hmm. Na ito siya yung na ito siya guided to kung pila ka units. So okay, okay. kung if it's accumulated, dapat dili mo more than 18 units ang iyang di loading. Mm -hmm. Kaya kay kana bitong multiple del, multiple nga mga designations no. So yes. dapat pag total nimo ana ayo gid ipaabot og 18 units but follow the 15 12 mm -hmm. 9 6 na deloading. Ah, wala man okay. 6. Yes. So at least that's no point no that's Ah ma'am Cecil will ah, Okay, sige po sige po. Ma'am Cecil. Ah, uh, po ha. I I I'll unmute Ma'am Cecil muna sir ha. Okay po Ma'am Cecil can now ano po. Hello. Hello. Hello sir Arvin. Arvin. Ma'am Cecil. Ah. Yes sir. Hello. Yes ma'am Ma'am Cecil. Ah, I did recommend. I think ah tama lang tong 3 units ni sir if I may no katong 3 units niya di ba na deload siya og 3 units katong mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Na-deload oh, siya ang 3 units po. Yeah. Kaya mo mag pinaka minimum deloading ni mo. 3 units. Mm -hmm. Kay ano man siya, designated mga siya. So, na siya 15. Uh, no, na-deload siya 3? I'm sorry. Or ang iyang load 15? Ibali ma'am, ang iyang designation ng OSA and Gairo kay 3 units lang na deload. Ah, okay. Abi na ko 3 units ra ang iyahang load. Mm -hmm. The load chag 3 units. Yes, 3 uh, units think, only uh, for oh. that ano. Uh, sorry, sorry. So I think dapat ma-revise to iyahang SO no. So she needs to uh, to ano request for ano revision and na ano siguro ma-revise to iyahang SO. Mm -hmm. 3 di balik. Okay. Baliktad yes. ang akong pagkabalo. Abi na ko 3 mm -hmm. ang iyahang load. The loaded lang chag 3. Oh, yes, ma'am. Deloaded lang siya three for both OSA and Gairo ng uh, oh, okay. kuan, <laughs> um, <laughs> So, mag-request na lang siya, sir. Mag-request na lang siya okay, para okay. ma-revise okay. yung SO. Okay, oh. thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you so okay. much for that, ma'am, Cecil. Okay, sige. Okay, so, now it's clarified, no, nga, uh, pwede na data mag-request for that, especially if the designations are as, as big or as taxing as OSA and Gairo, no? Okay, salamat po. So, uh, here's another uh, question po, uh, Sir Tito. Uh, katong time in, uh, time in, time out sa DTR, Sir, if working from home, same ra ang time range sa regular working days? Uh, kung work from home ka, ayaw na lang butangi o time. Kay, yes. Na siya pwede. Work, as I have said, butangan na ni mo sa remarks of work from home. Blanco ra siya, Sir. Mm -hmm. Ay wala makai time ko andi ayun nga kanu sa kagat trabaho no except yes, for your yes. schedules no pero butangin na lang yung work from home blanko lang siya okay. it's the HRIS who will take care of that oh okay thank you for for the clarification sir um pwede ba mag-apply ang part-time teachers of scholars for master's degree sana no pero sa kuan mang good sa faculty development manual sa committee kanang regular lang gid siya sir no uh, in fact 2 years of service ang gi require so for part time pwede kuan lang on his own <laughs> mm -hmm. okay um here's another question sir 
can a JO apply as part-time teacher? Can a JO part-time teacher? The same school, university? Sa yes, the same university, sir. Actually, kung JO siya, she has to render eight hours of work within the week, mm -hmm. no? uh, within the day, no? So, dapat ka na iyang part-time Sabado. If allowed oh. sa iyang head. If allowed sa iyang head. head. Mm -hmm. Usually, ang ilang mong extension is during Saturday or pwede po sa gabi, if allowed sa head. Oh, dapat okay. nagig kay ka ng approval sa iyong head. Mm, okay po. So, they can just apply for that if ever, sir, no? Okay po. Okay. Um, here's another question from Miss Angeli Bete. Sir Arvin, good morning. Want to ask, when po mag-reflect ang salary sa newly hired po? Thank you. Hired October 2020 po, sir. Ma-receive po ba na po ang one month salary this November 12 po and another one month salary sa November 27? Uh, if you are newly hired, nag-depend yun na sa imong submission sa requirements, no? Mm -hmm. Kayo, ang, we, we will not wait for the uh, civil service to approve your appointment. Kayo, na naman to approve from the president and the board of trust, uh, board of uh, regions, no? So, kato, mm -hmm. enough na to siyang uh, attachment, but there are other requirements nga imuang i-submit. Mm -hmm. So, na mag checklist ang COA na sa first salary ng mga requirements. So unless ma-comply to ka ng madugay good kung dugay pod ang submission. So please ga follow up man yata ang amo ang mga staff dere sa CDO and sa system no. Ah uh, paspasin niyo ang inyong requirements, mga pre-employment requirements. Kay dili po gid na i-process sa accounting kung sa checklist pa lang daan sa COA, dili siya ma-attach. Mm. Okay po. Um, another question, sir. I just want to ask about the employment status for temporary and permanent. On my status, I already have a license and a graduate degree, but still temporary because I'm newly hired. I think there is more explanation on that, sir. Yes, uh, according sa ang ato ang USTP kanang setal ani code of code no university code. Yes. Actually, per practice po sa university, once you get in mag serve sa juga as temporary after a year mm. you will be recommended because probationary pa na ni mga period ang um, one year so just wait because mo gid na siya ang problema nato sa USTP kay maski ako no uh, na, kita tanan pang gid na nag start gid as temporary even if qualified ta with all the PhD so kanang temporary gid per record po sa civil service walay bag o nga na permanent automatic na no? so na na sa ato among gong uh, practice po sa university. But anyway, within a year, kung i-recommend na ka with the right qualification, uh, pwede na yun ka mag-permanent. No, unless katubitang transferi ka from another state university, pwede ni mo to siya madala. But submit all the requirements katong mga transfer no, records ni mo. Kay madala na gyapo ni mo yung mga permanent from the state university kung asa kagikan. Um, just inform us kay usay bang good ka nang dili mi ma-inform no nga na another iyang transfer records kay importante man gud na sa appointment abutangan siya ditog transfer no mm -hmm. sa imong appointment para ma-take okay. note sa civil service okay po um another concern po sir Tito i'm a part-time po and we have a recurring issue with regard to our salary for the part-time like we submitted our documents on time, pero our salary kai delayed po like most of the time a week delayed. Although nanami ATM cards, sir, but still the same issue pa din po. Enlighten us po, sir. Salamat kaayo. Yes, yeah, from Mam Ma Lizelle. Uh, uh, we've been kanang processing all. Usay magud magsabay sabay bitaw siya. Pero with the HRIS now, hopefully no kung ma-turn over na na siya, ma-solve na nang problem with the HRIS. Kay ang processing time, kay payroll summary naman lang gud ang gamito no. But right now, na pa magui mga requirements ang COA nga hard copy ang i-submit like the, the DTR, the accomplishment report no, kana siya ang imong pitch kanang schedule no. So, dapat intact na siya. Katawa kang i-mention ganiha ba? Para dili siya malangay. Um, here's a... Uh, yes po, sir. Yeah, hopefully, no, with the HRIS, mm -hmm. mapaspasan na ito na siya. Mga ginamong mm -hmm. goal, no? Salamat mi sa DTO with the HRIS. Sinahinay, no? Uh, Kuan na na siya. Within a day, siguro, hopefully. Within a day, ma-process na ang kuan. 
uh, sweldo. Um, here's a follow-up question po, sir, from uh, regarding the katong designation concern kaganina, na katong three units ni Deload. Um, unsay process para mag-request to change of Deload, sir? Uh, actually, dili magod dili magod ang hintungdan no ang magkuan ana mag request it's actually the head no siya ang mag recommend kay na amang gutay guidelines na tay guide na tay kuan katong issue ni president no kung if you will be designated as such una imong equivalent nga uh, kuan time release okay so um, basically the kuan the the person has to request na lang siguro from the director, from the director. or oh, oh, imong ana yeah. And then the director will communicate with uh, yes. here in, in system. Okay, po. Um, I sir, may we ask po if we can claim clothing allowance po since we started last February 2020. Um, I'm not quite sure if, if ah, this is... 22 February, March, April. February 2020. April. Yes, as I have said, kung naka, naka six months naka, Please come to HR office para ma-process imo ang kanang clothing allowance. Kay katong naghatag atong March, April, no? Ah, uh, lang naka naka na bitaw. So katong nagsugod pa lang, uh, please inform HR kay basin naalay na miss bitaw. Call okay. HR. Okay po. Um here's a comment po from um I believe uh, one of the faculty, former faculty of satellite campuses. I hope the HR can help the satellite campuses sa deloading sa satellite campuses kay maogin ang situation sa satellite campuses karon sir. Um, this is pertaining to the designations. Katubitang matagaan sila tagduha ka designation only that they will be um, deloaded for like three units. Ano mm lang? -hmm. Uh, yeah, no, dap dapat ifollow na to tong memo mm -hmm. ni president, no? Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, sir. On behalf of newly hired part-timer, we would like to ask regarding sa salary po. Um, how about ang payroll po, sir, kasi on process na yung account namin. And until now po, hindi pa namin na-receive ang first salary po. Mm -hmm. Part-time, sir. Part-time. Newly hired part-time, sir. Uh -huh. Newly hired part-time. So, first salary, sir, as I have said, naa siya mga requirements. No? I, I think they are informed of the requirements. So, kung okay na na siya, I will just call us, no? Kay basin na problema sa atong uh, office. Pero ang sa amo agyud, once nga complete ang attachment, i-forward yun na sa accounting office. Okay, are there uh, other questions or clarifications that you would like to, okay. May pwede mag-ask sa guidelines about katong proper deloading, sir. Asa siya pwede makita. Yeah, uh, it's in the memorandum of the president. Katong akong slide nga, gihatag ganiha. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, hatagan man mo sila kopya, sir. No? Ma-browse ma ma to nila. Na dito ang... Uh, sige, sir. I will take note of that. Sige, so memorandum of the president. Uh, can I suggest if pwede divided to 20 days amo salary kay mas win-win sa COS and university kay not all months have 22 working days. Sayang lang jud ang 1K per day. Mm -hmm. So I, I will consult the DTO for this. No? Kay naka HRIS magunta. So uh, dapat ka nang sila gud ang magkuan na sa 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 tawag ani software man gud na no so naka input na, na siya dito so if you are suggesting this uh, i will relate this to them sa salary okay sige so are there any other concern If you have other concerns you may actually unmute yourself if you want to personally um, talk to uh, sir Tito. Hello, sir. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I, I know who yes. this is for. Good morning, sir. This is Jasper from CITT. And Doctor, ano, Doctor Tito, ano, let's do kan lang kalang clarifications lang, sir. Sa ano, ang COS kay twenty one units ang ano, sir, ang 
required na teaching load. And then, how about kung mag-teach me og 24 units, sir? Katong 3 units kay overload to na mo or katong appeal na to siya sa package sa 21? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, you, sir. sir. Sir, sorry, sir. Unfortunately, ang minimum gid is 21. As I have said a while ago, kung matagan kag 24, kanang dili na siya makarry as overload. Kay package magadin yung salary as part time or mm. call it COS, no? Yes. Mm. Thank you, sir. Are there any other concerns? Thank you for that question. Hello. Yes. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. May no Good morning. Yes. Ah, uh, this is uh, Sir Winnie Kokadilina. Hi, okay. Hello, Sir Wen. What is your question? Hi. Uh, hello, good. Uh, uh, sir, katong regarding nang sa COS, sir, but I mean sa katong salary bitaw na mo, sir. Mm -hmm. um, um, since, uh, naman tayo katong bali 24 plus per month, then, uh, as, uh, sa akong pag-account kay, ang um, pag-account kay per day, mato siya mo nang, um, na siya bali rate per day, then, Atong sa pag-compute na ako kay ang uh, bali ang pag-divide sa monthly is divided by 22 days. So bali na ubaligi assume siya nga every month has 22 days pero ang actual gid siya sa kada month is not all months have 22 days. So mura kung 9 month nga 20 days lang. So na 2 days nga sayang which is 2k so murag sayang sad bitaw nga na na, rin, eh, na ay, wala kay absent for a month tapos 20 days lang ang account so dili gyud katong 24 nga kan bitaw so murag ang balik ang rate per day is maybe pwede ra sila siya ma change into unsa ba ang katong rate kay kit nga ana lang nga concern sir ba yes kay, uh, mm. i think kanang 22 days kanang standard man yata na sir from 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 DBM or COA or civil service i guess uh mm. dili mi ka change ana siya basta-basta lang na 20 days uh, okay na Yes. Kay katong ah uh, sige ay kay akong ako pong gi bali gi basahan pa last tong last time tong sa sa Sanhai Vitamin Sir nga COS kay divided by 20 days mo gito nga pagka concert so murag and ano lang sir night changes karon 22 na ah, basa okay. mm -hmm. yes, yes, basa yes po is slow na ni i would like di ba ang bayad yes, sa part timer is not by days it is by hours by hours uh, Number of hours served by days. Uh, for COS to siya, ma'am. Ang iya ha. For so COS. Uh, contract of service. It's different from part-time. Per hour ang part-time. Monthly ang uh, COS. Okay. Thank you, ma'am Luna. Are there any other concern, po? Apa may questions? Wala na. Pwede ko mag-ask? Ah, yes po. Nana. Uh, ah, yes, Miss Nana. Yes, please. Maka-file ba o ka ng 30 days na leave ang designated, sir? 30 days leave? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, unless na kay kuan, ma'am. Na kay leave credits. Sir, uh, regardless sir, kung sick leave siya or ka na uh, vacation leave, sir? Actually, uh, kung nakay ko answer, ma'am, nakay available nga leave credits, pwede na naman siya ma-apply, no? But it has to it has to go through the chancellor's office, no? the head of office for approval. Kaya di man siya mandatory nga i-approve. Ah, uh, okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Are there any other concerns pa? Hi, sir. Na yung honorarium for designated faculty? Honorarium. <laughs> uh, honorarium for designated faculty. This is something I can... <laughs> Now, ta, no? unfortunately, wala. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> true, true. Pero kung kuan ka, naman kay ka ng rata, kung director ka, no? designated nga director... Not all, no? Kato lang qualifying uh, mm -hmm. sa DBM. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Sige na, pa ba? Pero murag na ay propose, sir. <laughs> Wapako ka ba? Na ay propose nga incentives. Pero, so, uh -huh. pero wapako uh -huh. ka ba? I'd like to 
no to note nga kanang grabe gid ang administration karon dagan sila og mga mga plano gid no uh, for the welfare of the faculty mm-hmm. welfare of the faculty in fact mm-hmm. yesterday the president said nga naagi siya itagana nga isa ka office for the welfare of the faculty kanang mga kanang dormitory mm-hmm. no mga dagan kay so gwapo kay ang plan ni president for us mm-hmm. sir nervasan ako ila nga question concern uh, yes po ma'am chair ma'am, ma'am Luna. Uh, when we talk about Faculty, what do you call this concern? Uh, I would like to share this with you that uh, the part time are supposed to be paid in based on their NBC four six one. If you are a new part time, you you will be evaluated by NBC. Whatever is your uh, result, you'll part time record a uh, part time payment is based on your rank but i have a concern i had been in school for more than 40 years since 1972 and then when i at that time when i was still on regular basis i have the highest part time uh, is extra load per hour because i got the university uh, professor rank that is 200 points. But when I retired, because I have the higher part-time per hour than the administrator, they reduce it to 500 per hour only. So that injustice is now being inherited by the new people who retired, even if they are qualified. But the injustice is this. If you are just entering, you will be evaluated to NBC. But if you are already retired, if you have higher salary, it will not be in, it will not be based on NBC. Now I'll give you an example. We have a professor from IIT. Those who were below, so those who have lower than NBC professor were given part-time uh, part-time rate on their NBC. But we have Dr. Kanoy, who is university professor, who has only a, was only given 500. In which case, the new, new ones who have, who have reached Professor 6 have higher pay. I hope I will request the HR to correct this injustice because you will inherit this injustice when you will retire also. The young people will inherit the injustice that was done before. As of this time, since our administrators are open-minded, I hope that injustice will be corrected so that the people who will be succeeding us will not inherit the injustice that was done by previous administrators. Because if you are going to, for example, now, it will be based on law. Now, if it is based on law, why is it that they made their own law to make it only 500? Mm-hmm. When it, if it is lower, it will apply. If it is higher, it will not apply. Mm-hmm. And then you will count the number of hours. Okay. But we, it's okay for us to count number of hours of our service, provided that will be paid also compensating to what you are due. So I would like to request the administrators now and also at Ma'am Cecil, and also Sir Tito, that the injustice will be corrected as of now because we do not know that maybe later on, in later years, you'll have another administrator who are having that kind of character of having injustice. Now, you should check that now, make it correct so that the next generation will not suffer what we have suffered the injustice before. Thank you. I'm just reminding so that Mm-hmm. You will have time to make the correction of the injustice that is done before. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for that uh, inputs, ma'am. No, uh, rest assured, we will open this up to the administration. Uh, unfortunately, HR relies on the costing and the listing from the deans. No, so we are just following. But uh, having noted this one, uh, I hope this will be corrected also. Uh, sa so, may kalainan sa qualified no kaayo nga faculty 
Uh, the same naman gyapon pagtudlo, no? So I think that 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 is okay, ma'am. No, we will we will uh, tackle it in our next kuan siguro. Uh, yeah, because the the costing is based on what the administrator said. Like before, before I retire, I was receiving my overload at more than seven hundred. When I retired, it was reduced to five hundred. Hmm. So that the the higher administrator, the president or whoever, they have a higher part-time per hour than myself, who is having a higher rank in the NBC. But they were also in they were also evaluated by NBC, only they did not reach. But they had an advantage because they were the administrator. So when I questioned this during our open forum last time, you know what the administrator said. You wait until you become. So, that I hope that you wait until you become will be changed now. That if if you are qualified, then you are qualified. If you will retire at that much, then that will be yours. So it will be comp it will compensate of your qualification, not of those because you are not yet you have not become the administrator. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Well taken po, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am Luna, for that concern po. Okay. Um, we have here another question po, sir, dito. Na ay application or maka-apply ba ni sir na part-timers na daily work from home o transportation allowance? Wala mga good ni vehicle or sakyan ng everyday, sir. And most of us kay ga po mute. Thanks, sir. Part time, you wish nga on campus ka. Actually, ang ang rule gud sir is kanang tanan faculty, no? Tanan faculty work from home gud siya. So unless wala kay ko ano, wala kay gadget, internet connection, you can come to the campus, no? Sa laboratory or sa office kung asa ka. Then you can avail of the ko an kanang transportation ala, a tran free transportation nga ko an we support sa school. Uh, just go to the motor pool. Sila ang ga-assign ana. Uh, na po yung limitation kay siyempre distancing mangon. So please go to the motor pool kung nagkuan ka. Nag gusto ka mag-avail ana no if you work on campus due to uh, gadget limitation. Pero um if ever sir na na sila sa satellite Depende no, sa ilahang facility, if na ay uh, a motor pool, ito sa ilahang. Um, here's another, ano po, just wanna ask po if us part-timers may file or apply for makeup classes para mabawi na mo ang mga oras na dili na mo maklasihan during holidays? Actually, that's academic, ma'am, no? Concern, uh, makeup classes. Uh, I'm still not aware if it's still applied now. So uh, maybe we can ask Dr. Paulma soon kung makuha na to siya. Kung napa si Ma'am Paulma mm -hmm. sa makeup classes. Kay kami magdawat kami sa HR what, whatever is approved by the dean or the higher office. Mm -hmm. uh, another question sir Tito. Pwede na ko mag-reapply mag sa monetization of my service credits? This is from Ma'am Saturnina Absi. Uh, yes ma'am. Uh, Previously, basin giuli to ang imong application, ma'am. Na dili ko sure. Na magigi pang uli ang DBM, mainly because of the reason. Dapat health reason siya ang priority nila karon. Okay, napatay mga pangutang sa ano? Ah, kani. Um, voicing some COS, appeal ba daw mi sa mga bonuses? And napoy na mutana din ni sir na, I would like to ask if ang part-time na by December bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, as I've said, kanang, ang part-time, COS, kanang JO, uh, there is no employee-employer relationship. So, katulang ang kanang ang mga benefits are for the regulars, casual, no? Who enjoy the same benefits as the regular. Here's a question from Sir Barry. 
Hi Sir Tito, sa clothing allowance po, dapat di ay 12 months ang total na render na services, sir? Para at least, ma-avail? At least 6 months. At least 6 months. It was, I think so, it was... Kung naka-6 months na pa, sir, please uh, inform the office. Mahatag man na siya, sir. Uh, mahatag na siya. Within the year. Um, here's from uh, Miriam Sulage. Sir, naaba ma-receive the incentive ang part-timers na nag-participate sa bayanihan? Actually, sa bayanihan, is still the project of Ma'am Paulma. No? So, yeah, I'm so, really aware kung kuan ka nang... Pakay ko aware sa bayanihan. Uh, normally, maghatag naman na sila sa mga kung kinsa itong available. I mean, mm -hmm. ka nang maka-avail. No? Mm -hmm. So, na, na, wala na si Ma'am Paulma, no? Um, nagpo, sir, nagpuan na siya. Naggawas na siya kay nga pa daw siya yung other meetings. So, auto na... Uh, I have to check kung appeal ang part-time sa atong bayanihan, sir. Kay. Wala ko yung guidelines. Mm -hmm. Okay po. Uh, okay. okay, from uh, Sir Christian Abilianosa, I'm a part-time faculty. I would like to know how us part-timers to have our ranks promoted? Uh, you can always go to Kwaas to Ma'am Wawa. No? Submit mm -hmm. your documents there. Uh, you can have it evaluated from the mm -hmm. Kwaas. And uh, do not worry because on our third day, we will be, we will be inviting over Ma'am Wawa to talk about that as well. Uh, okay, so here's... I've been ACOS since 2016 until 2019 first SEM, then part-time faculty from second SEM of 2019 until now. Naaba ko madawat as a Christmas gift sa December? Uh, as I have said, katong mga benefits, oh. no? Para gito siya sa mga regular, but for COS, part-time, part -time, mga oh. GOs, no employee-employee relationship. relationship. So, unfortunately, kwan, si, si Arvin na lang yung og Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> Magputos na. Ano na lang, Sir Tito. Sir Tito. But unfortunately, no, as much as we want, natanan, pero naamagod tayo guidelines. No? Mm -hmm. From DBM, from COA. Um, here's another question, Sir. May I ask if pwede ba mag-work from home ang designated faculty? Sure. Depende yes. sa dean. Depende sa head. No? Pakigsabot mo dito. Mm. No? Kaya ang purpose ka ron, di ta magdasok sa office. So, because anyway, it might be... Uh -huh. Yes, in a way, now my tasks now. Yes, true, sir. In my case, po, sa si ITL, no, even though um, I'm designated, um, kuan niya po, nga trabaho ko din, pero nagapun po days na work from home. Okay. O lagi na, no, iwas, iwas nga mag, mag dasok ta permi sa office. As I have said, katong mix, bita, pwede man, mm -hmm. katong mix alternative work arrangement. Here's another question po. If naabad ka, I would like to ask, sir, if na ba differences sa rate sa part-time depending on their qualifications, like lahit ang rate sa undergrad, masters, or PhD? Yes, yes. lain-lain siya, no? Na kay rate sa masters ay mong gitudlo, na kay rate sa undergrad, na kay rate sa PhD. Mm -hmm. So you have actually three accounts no, sa HRAS. Kaya kung isa ka account, Basin ang reflect dito katong pinakagamay. So that's why lisod bitaw gid kay ang ang HR nga na assign na kay he has to take care nga ang imong load undergrad, masters, PhD. Okay. And um, alam ni kami ba mga part-timer nga nag-travel pero para mo report sa campus na aba ah, may mga allowance ani sir? Um, I think more answer uh, na yan, taan niya siya ganyan. Oh, na, pero na atay latest karon di ba, katong communication allowance. Yeah, communication uh, allowance worth, if I'm not mistaken, sir, 500 per faculty, yes, di ba? Uh, uh, on the process. So, dapat nakasubmit na yung mga heads, no? Katong mm. form. Dapat mag-apply yun. Yes. So, you have to apply it. I think you have to sign a document for that. Yes, yeah. for COA purposes. Yes, po. Um, okay. Regarding again sa pag-evaluate for rank promotion, we submitted our documents during NBC. Mm, I think they have to wait for this, Sir Tito, no? Yes. Uh, Nay-announcement yata ang kwaas. 
Um, here's a question from Sir Denver Ayan Uy. Ask lang ko sa salary from September 16 to present. Wala pa man good. Part-time, sir? Part, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is part-time, sir, pero kung gano'y gibutang, ask lang ko sa salary from September 16 to present. Well, oh. I believe this is part-time, siguro, sir. Do you know what I'm I'm worried. Can, ana, can, ha? Uh, can I have the name, please? Sorry, kayo, ha? Ano ka? Ah, part-time daw siya, sir. Uh, oh, yes, si, yes, si Sir Christian. Christian. Ah, so, sorry, Sir Denver Ayan Uy. Denver Ayan Uy. Sige, sir, among i sir. Denver Ayan Uy. Okay. Ah, uh, karon dayon sir pa after this I will I will check. Um nay nang utana pud sir I would like to ask how to apply for birthday leave. It was mentioned earlier that it is part of special leave but upon checking it's a HRIS special leave is not on the leave type uh, drop down list. Uh, special leave under special leave na siya sir no. Uh, birthday leave and there not just a special leave, three days mm -hmm. But you can not all are entitled to that. As I have said, katulang mga designated, mga mga non teaching. No? So ang faculty nga full time, ayo mug apply ana, it's not for you. As I have said a while ago. Okay. Uh, mostly part timer, dugay ka ayo maka receive og salary, hoping I prioritize put down ang part timers. Yes, I'm sorry for that, ma'am, sir. No, uh, as much as possible, I'm again at yung paspasan sa HR, no. But kung magsabay-sabay na, then dugay ang pag-submit sa mga documents kay isahon magunat sa secretary, no. Dili na siya isa 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 katao magsubmit. Dili siya itinagin. Yes, dumano na nila, then mas maayop siguro kung okay na dapat iuna na lang submit sa secretary, no, para ma-process sa HR, anak siguro. But I mean, timeline. Night timeline, magod na sir, for submission. Yes, so, yes, maluay po mo sa HR nga, tingi-tingi po ang yes, mag-submit so. bitaw. So, deadline is deadline, ana ba? Mm -hmm. Night cut off. Yes. Okay, so, are there any other? Uh, ang rate per hour sa part-time, same, uh, like, co-hired as part-time karon sa USTP, 131 per hour a Japan ang rate. Uh, in terms of rate, ang costing ana na agad sa din, no? So, kami igo lang yung mag... Mm -hmm. But depending on the qualifications po nila, sir, yes, they have uh, to, to, I think, approach the KUAAS for it, that. For the kuan ranking nila? Oh, for the ranking. Tapos, ayan na dahil yung matagaan sila o rate, depende sila qualifications po. Okay. Do we still have other questions? Kasi napamoy ka ng kamulo pa o encode sa questions. But um, while you are having the, ano, while you are still encoding your questions, we'd also like to know, or we'd also like to, to receive feedback from you. So for now, I am sending the, um, ano, the link of our evaluation um, for Focus Day 1, okay? Um, you may click on the, the active link that is provided on your chat, but you can also um, you can also, you can also um, type in bit that though slash focus day one. Okay. okay, so here are some questions, sir. Do we have HMO benefits? Um, is this coming from a part time or or? I believe this is part-time siguro, sir. No? Do we have HMO benefits? Unsa kayo ng HMO, sir? Unsa kayo ng HMO sa iyang pasab... Pamin? Mm -hmm. Gimin? HMO? Ah, MaxiCare. MaxiCare. Unsa kayo siya? MaxiCare. Mag-apply ka. Naanak siya sa kuan. Mm -hmm. Sa co-op. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. question po din ni sir. Apil ba may mga part-timers sa communication allowance? Di ba, Apil? Manita. Tanan. Tanan. Tanan yun siya. Oh. Oh, tanan ta. Mm -hmm. um, is it okay to have someone there in HR or accounting office na mag-inform po sa amo ang madali ang sweldo aron makapanagang miss amo mga due date aron ma-aware me ma'am sir please kailisod na mag-expect 
Mm-hmm. Okay, well taken, sir. Uh, we will relay that to the secretary mm-hmm. also no? to inform you. Actually, ang mga in charge diri magtawag magina sila sa secretary nga kulang ni attachment or mm, um, yes usually. Mm-hmm. Are there other pa? Okay, so uh, while some are still um, on, uh, trying to encode their their questions, let me just uh, share screen this one. To remind everybody that by the second day, which is on um, supposedly no na na kwaan ni siya na balhin na schedule, so our next schedule will be on uh, no uh, November 13. That will be our second day for for focus. May I just remind everybody to um, may I remind everybody that we will be on time, logging in so that. Um, para wala tayong ma-miss ng mga kuwano mga important details kay um, kaganina na ay nagsulod mga mid ni gid kaayo layo na kayo so mao na nga daghan taog ka ng mga questions na even though na show na ang ang, ang information no nagbalik-balik ya pa natong questions so we encourage everyone that by next time um kuan pwede sila mag uh, sayo no okay um akong i-zoom in kay Masinggagmay para sa uban Okay, so again, our second day is this one. Kung highlight, sorry. And in day three na kabotan, pero supposedly day two yun na no? Okay, so we will be starting at 8.30. Okay, with our preliminaries. And then we will then proceed with the other parts of the seminar na dahil. Okay. Um, Kuan pod, no? Um, everybody is also encouraged to, to, kuan, to, um, Send their thoughts no, to us. What do you think about this? Um, sayo ra ba sa 8.30? Ano sa ba? <laughs> Kaya para makuha na to, no? ma-adjust na to. Sa ba ka ha? Or okay ra ba sa 8.30? Kaya naapod tayong mga kuha, naapod tayong mga other ng mga um, duties no, after, after the session. Okay, so I believe maora to siya ang mga, mga questions na to. Thank you so much, Sir Tito, for um, shedding light no, sa kanina mga pangutan ng, uh, and as you mentioned, no, katun sa itong meeting pa nga, na ay mga questions na sige balik-balik because dili klaro. Um, dili man sa dili klaro sa ilaha, pero siguro wala lang yung tayo venue no, nga na, na isa ta, no nga uh, kita gitanan nga naa gita dali para kita gitanan makadungog no nga uh, isahan lang bitaw siya okay so um there is a question here by the way um this is regarding CITL's training whole day jud um day 4 and 5 um yes sir weniko that is um, on designing assessment so this will be a transition from the HR to CITL na dayon so here with the uh, atong gina discuss is technicalities of our job no, so regarding HR matters, but then for day, days four and five, this will then be transitioned to pedagogy na dayon siya training. Okay? So salamat po kaayo sa, po ano, sa Sir Tito again sa pag-shed light. Of also kang Ma'am Cecil uh, for, um, for, for assisting us in this. And also uh, Dr. Pauma. No? Na, Ay, napaday, oh, napaday isa. I would like to raise this again. How are you? How are we going to cope up with the number of hours that we missed because of holidays? Are we allowed to file for makeup class? Uh, or... uh, let's ask uh, Dr. Paulma for that, sir. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, sige, sige. Sir Arvin, thank you, Kai, sir. Okay. That your help by this program <laughs> really helping HR. Thank you Salam. so much. Okay, salamat din po. And uh, for now, before we we would like, uh, before we would officially end this session, no, let me just present the answer, the certificate for recognition of recognition. No? So for our speakers for today. Okay, so. Okay, so I would like to read the citation first. 
University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning and Human Resource Management Unit awards the Certificate of Recognition to Dr. Maria Elena L. Paoluma for her valuable contribution as resource speaker for the five-day faculty onboarding and career upstart seminar focused on November 6, uh, 13, 2026. 27th, conducted by the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning in collaboration with the Human Resource Management Unit of the University of Science and Technology of Southern Phil Philippines via Zoom cloud meetings. Given this uh, sixth day of November at the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, CM Recto Avenue, Napasan Cagayan de Oro City, uh, signed by yours truly, Arvin Arvaza, CITL Program Head, New Faculty Program, Dr. Maria Cecilia L. Paman, Director of Human Resource Management, CDO, Dr. Amparo Vitua Dinexal, Director for Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning, and Dr. Tito M. Mariquet, Director of Human Resource Management of USTP System. Okay. The same citation goes to uh, Mar uh, Dr. Maria Cecilia L. Paman. And the same citation also goes to Dr. Tito M. Mariquet no, for, for being here with us no, and uh, contributing largely into this no, kind of clarification no, mga cons, mga concerns na to regarding sa ato, ang trabaho. And I hope that apart from that, um, you were also inspired as well by Dr. Paulmas um, ano, introducing us to the culture of what should be our culture in USTP as we um, go through you know, the, 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 the processes of our system. You know? So again, we would like to encourage everyone to um, do not forget to send us your feedback, you know? give us an evaluation. Um, maybe you can suggest something uh, that, that we see uh, Pwede di ay kaayon ni siya iya to ang dugang sa ito ang focus sa sunod niya. Sa mga sumud, sumusunuray pa nga focus. No? Okay? okay, so this is only for day one. Napatay day two, day three, day four, and five. So uh, we are looking forward no, na makita, gihapon mo na mo the same people or even more no, sa sunod ng mga sessions na to. Okay, so that would be all for our presentation. So may 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 ano, may we request that you turn on your cameras for um, our virtual pictorial. Please allow us to ano, please allow us to take pictures of you so that uh, we can feature you sa mo ang CITL na page. Facebook page. By the way, again, um, ang atong certificates will be given upon your completion of focus on the fifth day and also, um, but ang kani ato ang ano session karon, recorded session, and then the materials given by the speakers will also be um, sent to you via your email. Okay, so our staff is um, currently taking pictures. So smile sa takadyo. Okay, and also um, this ano, this uh, pictorial is also for the documentation of the teens. No? So attachment ni siya para sa teens and for the, um, para makita nilang attendance as well. Okay, sorry. Are we done? Not yet. So smile sa gita kajut, no? <laughs> smile sa takajut. Medyo daghan magunta ni nga session. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Marikit and, and Mampangan. Welcome once again, you faculty. Welcome to USTP. Okay, Nata. Okay, last panel.
Okay, so thank you so much no, sa inyong participation. I'll see you on the next days. God bless. Stay God safe, bless everyone. everyone. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sir Tito and Ma'am Cecil and also to Dr. Pina. Na goodbye, Rato. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too, Ma'am. I miss you, Ma'am. Ma'am Abby. Ma'am Abby.